Welcome back to your number one stop for PSO2, a new Genesis gameplay how-to, all that jazz. And I have myself a little a minion helping me today. So, let's not disappoint all, and let's go ahead and hop on into what is happening inside of NGS this week. Like always, we are over here over on the official website for NGS to get all goodies and information for the week. So, to start off, we do have a quick reminder here. We do have a call. A PSO2 day happening here in the next few days, starting at 7 p.m. on May 4th, running through the sword. Nothing really to point out here beyond the normal routine of 10% bonus, well drops, some limited time tasks, and then of course with bait PSO getting 100% to fun, 200 to affiliate, well drop, and then another 100 for a gathering, item enhancing, and whatnot, as well as of course all 50 star gems. And this time around, we are going to be getting a two special squat ticket. And then, of course, the ability to run into uh, the arc squappy if you are playing in a bait PSO2. So, there you go. Just a reminder on that one. And moving from there, we are going to be getting ourselves into something that I am actually pretty excited about. And I know a lot of other people are very excited about. Which is the return of the EC support item selection 2. So... Add the two giveaway here. This is the second time we have had this. And the main thing of interest here, since sadly this is still 200 AC to do a pull form. And you will be getting your hands on some, of course, some odd men, some susceptible weight, some uh, affiliate armor and weapons. But the main thing of interest here is, of course, the bad boy, the potential of one, two, and three. So the thing is about these, if you missed out on my video of pointing these, be sure to check it out. I will have a link above. But these are pretty much will instantly unlock the net potential uh, without having to deal with the cold leveling them. Or if you are using the weapon that requires proton scales, you can just bypass all that and uh, just jump your potential up and not have to deal with that, which will be very, very helpful for them weapons. As well as a new item here, which will, of course, uh, break your weapon uh, to 250, so that will, of course, uh, bypass the need uh, for, of course, the armor final. So, fantastic on that end. And, like I said, everything else is so-so on there. But, like always, you can see the drop weight here, and we do have some play bonuses on top of it. So for buying uh, five uh, pulls, you're going to go ahead and get you a, a retain yellow trigger or B trigger. For 10, you're going to get you a successful weight for enhancing 100%. At 15 pulls, you get yourself an end quarter chain pat. 20 will give you an augment success weight plus 20. 30 pull will get you, of course, a two special scratch item tickets. Five pulls will get you, of course, a retain yellow triggers again. And of course, at 30 pool, you will go ahead and get you the ability to pick whatever item out of the craft you want. So, there you go. Available right now. So get your hands on the. Also, uh, make sure to check the player market. Because, uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe the potential unlock will be a little more cheaper right now. And speaking of Yellow Trigger, we are caught having our fourth celebration campaign. For a Golden Week coming in here, which I'm pretty sure the majority of you know what Golden Week is. If not, pretty much Japanese holiday here. And a PSO is going to be celebrating it with, of course, a level up campaign. So they're going to go ahead and be running from today all the way to the 10th of May. And you can get your hands on 50 bonus affiliates or 50% bonus affiliates for running a Battle Dia Yellow Alio Trigger or by doing the yellow trigger for a retain. Also, you will be getting a gift item sent to your inventory as well, or mainly to, I get your campaign collection menu, of which will give you a call five alio yellow trigger as well as five retain a trigger as well. And of course, you have yourself a two June 11 uh, to actually uh, receive the item. So, and then we also have a breakdown of how to do the if you haven't already, I'm pretty sure the majority of you uh, know what Battle Dia is at that point. And then let's go ahead and get into some bug report stuff. That we do have a few things of interest here that was happening. So let's go ahead and talk about the stuff that have been fixed here. So to start off, we of course have uh, the whole bug issue of fit with changing items inside of the salon. Uh, so if you haven't checked out that video about when I bolted it down, pretty much the bare minimum of it was... Uh, entering the salon and editing 
your kill doing leaving any of the stuff that don't require SG, the game was taking SG. Uh, so that bug has been fixed now. Also a bug that was tied once again to uh, the salon here, which was tied to a court with uh, type 1 heads being able to edit your character neck that been rectified as well and also a small little update i get detail here uh, for of course anybody who of course buy premium or the extra storage material storage whatever it might be uh, if you use any of them pay services you are going to be getting an extra six hours since maintenance was a little iffy i believe what flat maintenance i could i think that maintenance that happened today were fine uh, but nonetheless, you will be getting an extra six hours on your portrait time, though. And of course, any character that was signing up to move up between ships, you guys should be good. All of them have been done. And of course, they did change around uh, when loading into a bait PSO2, letting everyone know once you log in, you will be teleported uh, to uh, the gate area. So I didn't really like with the bug happening uh, with that and needed to be fixed. But nonetheless, hey, there you go. You can now. I should log into Bay PSO and be in the gate area, which I thought we already did. Whatever, Sega. And now getting into some bugs that are very, very unfortunate and also very big. So pay attention out there, all you PSO2 players here, because some of these might affect you. Uh, so, of course, our very fourth bug here is, of course, tied to the completion uh, tap menu. Uh, so if you happen to bring up your menu and you look at what quests you have completed, there is a, a chance that your game will crash. Uh, so just a heads up on that. So probably want to stay away from that uh, to the get back. Uh, hopefully in the net update net Wednesday. Or if they decide to do emergency maintenance between now and then. So be prepared and just don't look at your completion lit. And hopefully you will be okay on that end. Speaking of something that you need more so. I hope we all going to be good with me included here. Is of course a crash that is happening when you launch the game and you go to a login and you select your character. There is a bug known that can call crashing. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty big deal. And once again, knock on wood. Hopefully I don't get hit with this uh, since I will be live with PSO2 New Genesis later today. If you're watching that video, it should be about an hour or so after. So uh, yeah, hopefully we don't get hit by this, but... Elite Sega know about it, and we will see what comes of this. I could see this honestly being, if we did have emergency maintenance, could be the problem. Uh, since a whole week of waiting to fix the issue, depending on how widespread this is, this could become a real problem here. Uh, and no verification, it is like Xbox or PC at all, or you know any other platform such as like PS4, PS5, which if you are playing JP, I don't know if this is specifically tied to it. I kind of wish we had more detail here, uh, but nonetheless, uh, maybe maybe this is happening to everything, and that's why they didn't you know specifically say. So uh, watch out if you are logging in and your game is crashing. So just know that is a problem, and Sega is working on that and hopefully uh hopefully it will be very minor or very selected and you know not be a main problem bingo claws and then of course all that update here is a court tied to the headline dream uh, that will be happening tomorrow morning at 6 a.m central or 7 p.m eastern and i believe 5 a.m pacific i think i got my time zone correctly Either way, I am a Colt Central, so I will be alive with this in the morning. And I will be going live about 15 minute till. Uh, so I will go ahead and see most of you guys at 6.45 a.m. Here on YouTube, as well as over on Twitch.tv. Flat Boy Mac on it. Well, watch wherever you see fit. But nonetheless, I will be live with this event covering all the stuff. Since this one should be an interesting one, since I do know they did state they're going to go any more in depth into the new region so we will probably see some character maybe a plot for synopsis and who knows maybe it will leak date because everything that sega been saying it seemed like this is coming in june and uh we will see if it's early june or late june let me know in the comment below oh uh, well do you guys think it's gonna take place in june uh is it beginning in or middle uh, let me know in the comment below uh, but nonetheless we will probably see a couple other things about this the other thing I'm pretty excited about this as well is, of course, with the announcement of, of course, the Equator program that they announced it during the last headline stream is uh, they've been saying that, you know, 
people should be getting approved and you know be getting verified here in the next few days they said the end of april so who knows maybe we will get all four hints of that or any of us that did sign up for the cradle program and if you want more information about that be sure to check out my video all about it i will link it above as well and then one last more little thing that i forgot about to literally just now i'm happy i did not stop recording yet which is of course we are going to be getting a another headline dream plus at the time it will be happening of course on friday which is of course april 29th till at 2 30 p.m pacific and i will call We'll be covering this uh, once again, and I will have a, a reminder here on YouTube, uh, since I will be streaming here as well, at Twitch as well here. But as we found out from the tweet, and I quote here, get ready to review the latest NGF headline and meet your fellow art defender in the next episode of our cozy community stream, NGF Headline Plus. So, yay on that. It looked like we are going to be leaning, like I was hoping into the community side of it uh so probably a fit also pretty similar to the last one uh where they will probably we watch the headline stream and you know do commentary over it uh we will see if anything come from that the main thing i'm interested in is of course the community part of this uh so we will see how far down that rabbit hole they go they continue here with of course uh as always send us your fan art screenshot at hat tad rappy mail so if you want your uh dub shoulder off on the stream be sure to of course uh reply over on twitter with a hat tag uh, for a chance to be featured on the show. And as for the hostess of concern, G Wiz is coming back, as we can tell by her wonderful little Wappy. And we will see uh, if uh, the Wappy heel is, since it isn't Wappy, is it going to be the same host that was on the last headline stream plus, or is it going to be uh, someone new? So who knows? Maybe maybe it will boil down to maybe G Wiz and someone else from the community. Or from inside Sega. So maybe we are going to have a little bit of rotation. We're going to have to wait and see. But nonetheless, I am happy this is coming back. And uh, I am all for any of these dreams. That will be you know, way more community driven. Because we need more stuff like that. In, well, the community as a whole right now. And with that, that is everything that happening that week. As you can tell, not a lot of stuff. Because a lot of the news is probably going to be put back to a cult headline dream. But there is, as you've seen, some issues, some bugs. Thankfully, a lot of the FG bugs and stuff did get fit. But watch out for that login bug. And uh, once again, knock on wood and hope I'm not affected by it. Hopefully. But nonetheless, that will go ahead and do it for me for today. If you enjoyed the video or if you haven't already, be sure to do thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the wonderful bells below. And of course, pet little old Diana since she is still adorable on my death to all time so good job cat and of course if you do want to support the stream of beyond the free subbing dub feel free to check out patreon.com slash macon links in the description of below and help support the channel and of course keep the wonderful cats fed and fluffy and of course i want to give a big thank you to everybody that is supporting the channel for the month of april thank you thank you go out to all you over on patreon membership to on youtube or by subscribing over on twitch thank you thank you and of course links in the description to all the posts as well as all my uh social if you want support and with that that will go ahead and do it for me for today and i if you want the video when you go live i will see you live with pso in about an hour or so and of course in the comments You'll have to excuse me.